What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. Oh, man, bro, my heart is, like, still beating fast, man. Still beating fast. Could barely contain myself, man. <laughs> you had my Philadelphia Eagles defeating the Houston Texans 32-30 to on a last-second field goal by Jake Elliott to walk off on the win, man. What? A game, what a swing of emotions, feeling like you had the game won, then feeling like you lost the game, then then just pulling it out, man. What a game, bruh. Like, you know, it started off, we had a fourth down play, you know, Nick Foles hits Darren Sproles on like a little swing route. You know, he makes a couple of man, uh, men miss, and then he gets in the end zone to give my Eagles a 7 nut lead. You know, then Farbam, uh, Farbam, however you say his name, the kicker for Houston, comes down, gets a field goal, cuts the lead to 7-3. to three. Then Jadavion Clowney had a strip sack on Nick Foles, which I don't understand why Richard Rodgers was out there blocking Clowney anyway. But they recover the ball, then Deshaun Watson runs it in for a touchdown to give Houston a 10-7 lead. Then we came down, man, um... Well, no, uh, it was a 9-7 to seven lead because Houston missed the extra point. That's right. So Houston was up 9-7. to seven. You know, then we came down, man. Um, uh, Foles on a fourth down play. Foles hit Zach Ertz on a touchdown, man, to give us a 13-9 lead. You know, we went for two. We didn't get it. It looks like Nick Foles clearly got faced him as by Jadavion Clowney, but it wasn't called on the play. So we had a 13-9 lead. Then um, Houston came down, man. Deshaun Watson got another rushing touchdown to give Houston a 16-13 lead, and that was the score at the half. Second half, we came out, man. Uh, we went all the way down the field. Jake Elliott hits a field goal to tie the game up at 16. Then you had Foles hitting Nelson Aguilar on a beautiful pass, man, the longest play for us on the season, a 83-yard bomb to Nelson Aguilar to give us a 23 to 16 lead. You know, then defensively, um, we came up with a, a big strip sack, you know, recovered by Fletcher Cox. You know, then we ended up hitting Zach Ertz on another touchdown, but we missed the extra point and we took a 29 to 16 lead. Then we had the ball, man. Look, we got a fourth down stop as we hit Alpha Blue, short of the first down. Then all hell broke loose, man. Josh Adams, who I think, I didn't think had a very good game today. You know, I felt like he cost us. I felt like he didn't have good vision, you know, as seen as finding the holes. And then he had this crucial fumble, which completely opened the door for the Houston Texans, man. And they ended up getting the ball back, man. Deshaun Watson goes down, hits Dante Foreman on a touchdown to cut the lead to um to 29 to 23. Then we go three and out, and then Houston gets the ball back. Deshaun, big game Deshaun makes. A hell of a play where it looked like four people had a chance to sack him. He spun out of all those sacks and then threw a touchdown pass to um, number 17. I apologize. I don't remember the young man's name. But he was taking the place of Demarius Thomas, who looks like had a serious Achilles injuries, man. Prayers to Demarius Thomas, man, on his uh, on a recovery, man. You know, you hate to see uh, players going on with significant injuries like that. But they got the touchdown and got the extra point. They took a 30 to 29 lead, man. We get the ball back, then Boston Scott didn't help. Return the kickoff to like the 10 yard line, man. Then Foles goes out there, man, throws a, a, a beautiful pass, which Alshon Jeffrey makes an incredible catch on to get a first down. Then we get a rough in the pass a penalty as Jadavion Clowney lowered his, his head and hit Foles in the chest. Then Sudfield came in for a play, and, and Dougie P trusted him. He let him wing it, but he threw it out of bounds. You know, maybe that was by design. Who knows? But um, then Foles comes back in, man. He hits Ertz on a crucial play, you know, I think a third down play where he gets out of bounds. Then we run a draw to Darren Sproles, who gets a huge first down. Then we, we run out the clock, man, down to three seconds. seconds. And Jake Elliott came through, man, with the, the walk-off field goal right down the middle. And my Eagles get a 32 to 30 win, man. Woo! Now, obviously the Vikings didn't help us much today, or the Buccaneers. Hopefully the Chiefs help us tonight. 
So we still need to beat the Redskins next week and still need some help to get into the playoffs, man. But um, I tell you what, man, this team, man, like earlier in the year when we got when we we let a lead like that get away, man, we would have folded. But now we playing with so much confidence. Nick Foles is man. Nick Foles set an Eagles record for the most passing yards, man. Four hundred like seventy something yards and four touchdowns with the you know the one interception. What a game, man. What a game. This offense looks, besides the fact of the, the lack of a running game, this oh, we got weapons to throw the ball to, man. We got Zach Ertz, who shout out to Zach Ertz, too, also broke the record for the most catches by a, touch, uh, by a tight end in a, in a season, you know, still with a game left to play. You know, we got Zach Ertz, man. Dallas got it looking like he's coming into his own. We got Alshon Jeffrey out there coming back into his own. You know, we still, even though he's been a little quiet, we still got, you still got to respect Golden T. Nelson Aguilar had a huge day today. We got Darren Sproles out of the backfield, man. The offensive line is playing well again, man. You know, defensively, man, we mixing and matching, man. You know, we got injuries in the secondary, but they fought hard today. We fought real hard today, man, and, and got the victory. It was a hard fought, good victory, man. You know, as far as the Houston, Texas, man, hey, man. You know, I know they lost the uh, the number two seed for right now. They didn't clinch the South yet. You know, I know, um, you know, New England went back up into that number two seed. But big game to Sean Watson, man, is something serious, man. Houston, you've got a quarterback, yo. I know y'all probably upset y'all lost to us today, which y'all hats off to y'all. It was a it was a great game, man. Y'all had a furious comeback, man. It was a well played game today. Like, Houston, you have a quarterback, man. Deshaun Watson is legit, man. This young man is poised. He doesn't get rattled. You know what I'm saying? He he could throw from the pocket. He could throw on the run. He could scramble. He is the real deal. He's going to be hell to deal with in those playoffs in the AFC, yo. You know, like, they just need to get Lamar Miller back to, to help boost their running game. And like I said, DeAndre Hopkins also – is arguably the best receiver in football, man. If he's not the best, he's definitely in the top three discussion. This guy catches everything, man. <laughs> like, Houston is, you know, Jadavion Clowney. You know, I know our, our Lane Johnson did a great job on J.J. Watt today, man. But, you know, J.J. Watt is, is something serious. You know, we, we, got, we got after this secondary a little bit, man. We got after this secondary. Nick Foles played a tremendous game today, man. He came through and played his best game when we needed it the most today, yo. Um, for us, uh, you know, we still need to fix this running game. Man. Josh Adams had a, was disappointing me a lot today. Uh, I felt like he, not just the fumble, I felt like he didn't read the holes good, man. I felt like he didn't hit the holes the way he needed to hit it. I felt like his vision wasn't on point today. I thought we should have used Smallwood maybe a little more. You know, you try not to overuse Sproles because he's, you know, he has such a smaller stature and he has these wild plays. But down the stretch, I don't want Josh Adams running the ball down the stretch to try to close out a game, man. I, I just don't want that, you know. Um, Nick Foles, man. I can't say enough about Nick Foles today, man. Zach Ertz. Aaron Sproles, Alshon Jeffrey only had like three catches, but it was three huge catches. Nelson Aguilar, um, the offensive line, the the defensive line was frustrating because they just couldn't get to Deshaun, man. They got to him a couple of times, but they just couldn't get to him. But, you know, credit to him. He's an extraordinary athlete and an extraordinary quarterback. But Jake Elliott, man, after missing that extra point and – coming down with our season. If he misses that kick, our season is over. You know, by the Vikings winning and the Cowboys winning, uh, the Cowboys winning, he misses that kick, our season is over. And he kicks it right down the middle. And we fight for another week. We fight for another week. Um, you know, it's unfortunate we need help. Um, we fighting for this wild card spot. You know, it'll be nice if Seattle loses tonight to at least give us, you know, one or two teams falling short next week. Um, Hopefully the Bears win today, because if the Bears win today, that means next week they got something to play for. They're going to be playing for a first-round bye. So you know they're going to go to Minnesota and really try to win that game. So hopefully the Bears can knock off the Vikings next week.
Of course, hopefully we can handle our own business with the Redskins on the road. You know, they really going to be chomping at the bit to end our season. But big win today. Big win today. We showed we showed that championship heart, man. Showed that championship heart. I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of this team today. It, it got away from us and we went back and took it at the end, yo. But, um, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Eagles content throughout the season. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly. We still alive, baby. We still alive.